Welcome to Info 5. Like, please. Subscribe, please. Let's go. Within Italy, it is bounded by a two-mile border. With just over 100 acres of land, Vatican City is the world's smallest country, and yet it's one of the most powerful and influential countries on the planet. But as much as it's the location of the papacy, it's also a hotbed of controversy. Let's unravel the mysteries of one of the world's most secretive city-states, from the Vatican and the Holocaust to the secret confession tribunal. Here are 15 foreign secrets that the Vatican does not want you to know. Number 1. In Christianity, devotees and believers are subjected to a secret confession tribunal. They must confess their sins. A man can go to church, enter the confessional, and recite his sins to the priest in order to receive divine forgiveness. The significance of this practice is often emphasized in the Hebrew Bible. Regardless of how faithful and righteous you try to be each day, humans are bound to sin. Even the most devoted Catholic priests fall into temptation from time to time. Several claims that the secret tribunal was used by priests who committed serious sins spread the Vatican scandal of 2012 was also brought up. Several documents in secret papers were allegedly leaked to the public, and these private documents also contained investigations of bishops who broke their vows of celibacy. Some of them allegedly committed unspeakable crimes to feed their own. Number 2. On January 22, 1506, the Swiss Guards of the Vatican City were founded. It was the day the security forces vowed to assist the church in ceremonial assignments and to protect them. It was part of a treaty made in 1505 between Pope Julius II and Swiss Cardinal Schinner. Initially, 250 men were sent as the Pope's bodyguards. All of them were no less than 5 feet 6 inches tall and were devoted Catholics themselves. Although the guards appeared friendly, their vow was to protect the Pope, and they were trained to wound and even kill people should their duty require it. Of course, the Church will either deny or deny this. The Vatican is keeping the Grand Grimoire hidden. The Grand Grimoire, also known as the Red Dragon or the Gospel of Satan, is a medieval grimoire that allegedly possesses immense powers not seen by mankind. The Grand Grimoire was allegedly written by a man named Denorius of Thieves while possessed by the devil himself. The Grand Grimoire contains rituals and instructions on how to summon demons, making it one of the creepiest and most sinister books ever. After all, it's being kept in one of the world's most secretive and private libraries, the Vatican Secret Archives. There are theories that the Vatican is hiding the book due to its potent power and magic. We're still not sure what language was used to write the book, but several sources claim that it was either written in Biblical Hebrew or Aramaic. Number 4. Proof of Aliens If there is one thing the Vatican is accused of hiding, it is proof of aliens. The Vatican Secret Archive claims to have over 1,200 years of manuscripts and historical documents. It wouldn't be surprising if the archives also held the answer to the one thing everyone is curious about. Does alien life truly exist, and have they visited our planet before? The answers to these questions and more can be discovered in the secret archives. One of the most well-known stories about the Vatican is about a man named Heinrich Ludwig. In the 1920s, Ludwig allegedly had a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to winter the restricted section of the archives, where he discovered information about extraterrestrial creatures beings from different planets visited our ancestors thousands of years ago and helped us establish the first civilizations. However, Ludwig refused to give more information about what he saw in the archives. Number 5. Fathomus three secrets the divine has long used apparitions and visions to relay their message to special men and women. Here on earth most of the time people receive the word of God are canonized after long consideration and examination by the Vatican. It's easy to claim that you've seen God and that you've seen a messenger sent by him, but it's not that simple to prove that you're telling the truth according to them. From May to October of that same year, the Virgin Mary told them three secrets that they would gradually reveal to the rest of the world. These are known as the Three Secrets of Fatima. 
The first and second secrets were revealed in 1917. The first secret described hell. According to the children, the Virgin Mary showed them a great sea of fire in the perilous place, where demons and souls in human form were all in great pain and despair. The second secret discussed the people's devotion to the Immaculate Heart of Mary. During the reign of Pope Pius XI, the Virgin Mary prophesied the end of World War I and the beginning of a new bloody war. She also stated that Russia should consecrate the Immaculate Heart of Mary if mankind continued to offend God. The third secret, on the other hand, was not revealed by the children until the last of the three died of old age. Even then, the last of the three Lucia wrote a letter about what the Virgin Mary told her. Lucia then sent the letter to Rome, stating that the letter could only be opened and released to the children if they died of old age. However, it wasn't until 2000 that the Vatican revealed what the letter contained. The third secret was the assassination of Pope John Paul I. I. Surprisingly, the Pope survived a failed assassination attempt on May 13, 1981. Many people were skeptical of the Vatican's announcement, claiming that the third letter contained something else, a secret that if revealed today would rock the entire world to its core. The letters are allegedly kept in the Vatican's secret archives, where only a select few have access to their actual contents. Could it be that the Vatican is withholding the true secret revealed by the Virgin Mary? If so, what is it and why is it being withheld? Number 6. 60,000 demons were cast out by the Vatican's chief exorcist. Religion and spirits are almost always intertwined, which is why many people who are religious believe in demons. Some people believe that demons only exist in horror films and fiction, but if you ask Father Gabriel Amot, the Vatican's chief exorcist, these malicious entities are very real. After all, he has exorcised over 60 zero of them. Father Amrith has shared some of the most horrifying things he witnessed while performing his duties as an exorcist, one of which is about a young Italian man who came to see him in 1997. After all, the man sought him out, accompanied by a translator, which was strange because the man could speak perfect Italian. It turned out that the spirit who possessed him spoke perfect English. The man yelled threats and curses in fluent English. He also attempted to attack Father Emmerth several times. The priest immediately began the exorcism in Latin and asked the devil to speak its name to which it replied Lucifer. According to Father Emmerth, he was shaken by the response. But he continued and believed in God. What of these secrets surprised you? If so, which one surprised you the most? Let me know what you think in the comments section below. Also, check out our other cool stuff on the screen right now and I'll see you in the next video.